All right, today we're gonna do some magic with uh, WordPress custom post types, custom fields, and being able to search those. And there's a couple of ways that we can do this. Um, so let's start by, we're, we're gonna have to customize the theme a little bit. Um, so I recommend picking a theme you like and then uh, making a child theme version of it. I'm gonna use 2020 for the example today. So I'm just gonna go in here real quick and create a new folder, call it 20, 20 child. I'm um, just gonna copy this as the next file, paste it in here and then duplicate that. Call this one style.css. And then we're gonna call this one functions.php open this up and then we are just gonna pop in some stuff here this function pulls in the parent themes style.css file which we do need to reference um, cancel that let's go ahead and pop that in there so you start by creating a function you can call this whatever you want then you enqueue your style uh, you can call this whatever you want right here um, and then get the style CSS file from the template directory URL which is the parent themes directory. And then you just add that to the in queue styles um, hook as an action. All right, that's all set. Let's go ahead and um, create the style.css. I've pre-coded some of this just to make this video faster. So basically we're just gonna open up the style.css file and then pop this in there as well. Uh, 2020 child, put your, your information in here, your theme URL, uh, URL, whatever. Um, and then save that. Um, this file is required. This is the bare minimum required to create a child theme, this functions file and the style file. Um, actually, I don't even think functions.php is required. I think you just need style.css, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and refresh and we should see a child theme in here. Oh, you know what? I think I referenced the parent theme wrong. Maybe it's without a space here. All right, uh, so we have our child theme here. We're gonna activate it and then look at the front end real quick to make sure everything appears correct. It's all good. All right, so now we can modify our child theme without affecting the parent theme. Um, so we can update 2020 anytime we want without saving over our modifications that we're about to make. Um, okay, so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna create a custom post type. Let's say for the sake of example, you have two custom post types that you wanna create. We're gonna call uh, one of them books and one of them articles. So this one's books, actually books, plural, books, book. And that's basically all that we need. Uh, one thing I do wanna make sure of is that this is searchable, exclude from search, false, that's, that's right. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. And then we're gonna add a new one. We're gonna call this one articles. All right, so now we have books and we have articles um, and I want to pretty that up a little bit. So I'm, under books, I'm just going to go ahead and um, add a URL or a icon to see if they got a book one in here somewhere. I feel like I'm blind. Um, there's, there's one. That's fine. All right, let's grab that one. Dash icons book, and then there's, let's see if there's a document articles. That's fine too. Admin page. All right, so let's go ahead and add this one. Dash icons book for this one. And then for articles, let's add that little paper in there. I know that this isn't necessary, but it does help to keep the aesthetic uh, looking good if you have clients uh, who would appreciate being able to quickly visually uh, differentiate between these two post types. So we're gonna go ahead and add a new book. And we're gonna call this one Moby Dick. Publish that. Um, go back. And then we're gonna add an article.
Okay, I'm just creating some kind of like old archive to article. Um, and okay, so we've got our custom post types. We've got our two types of content set up. We've got a couple of example pieces of content. Um, and let's say that's as far as you want to go with it. Let's say that you don't have any custom fields. You don't want to add any custom fields. Maybe you don't even know what custom fields are. Um, maybe all you need is these custom post types and you just need the, the titles and then the descriptions and you know, that's, that's all fine and dandy. Um, the question is, can we search for this inside of WordPress? So let's take a look. Okay. Um, So WordPress does allow you to search custom post type titles and content by default, I believe, and that is done by nature of going into the custom post type um, under edit post types um, and just making sure that you have making sure you have the exclude from search set to false. And if you're adding these custom post types programmatically, when you're setting up the array uh, for um, or the attributes for the custom post type. This exclude from search is one of those attributes and you can look that up. Um, let me know if you guys need that, if you're doing this programmatically, if you're adding the custom post type inside of your functions.php file, um, I can show you how to exclude that from search or how to include that. Now, the, the way that this gets complicated is if you add custom fields to your custom post type. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, for books, we're just gonna add a custom post type we're gonna call, or a custom field and we're gonna call it author. And then we're going to create a field and just make this a uh, text field and just call this author name. And that's all set. Okay. So let's go ahead and set this location. Um, so we're only going to show this field if the post type is equal to book. And then we're going to hit publish. Technically, this would also apply to um, to articles. If you had books and articles, you would probably have authors on both. Um, but for the sake of this example, we kind of want to have two separate custom fields and two separate custom post types so that we can more um, colorfully illustrate the capabilities that I'm about to outline. So let's go ahead and add a new custom field. And we're going to say that this one needs a... Uh, We'll call this one tags because we want to add tags that make this searchable, but we don't want those tags to be visible on the custom post type. Um, so instead of adding our searchable, um, our searchable words to the description area of our articles custom post type, uh, we want to be able to add tags that are searchable that aren't visible on the front end. So we'll go ahead and go to post type and we'll say that this is article. We only want to show this field group on the articles and we're going to add a new um, a new custom build and call this search searchable tags. Just stick to that and then we're just going to make this a text area and I think we're good. Searchable tags. All right, so now we need to add some data to both of those. So we're going to go back into our Moby Dick book here real quick. Okay, and we can see that there's a new custom field in here, an author name, and we're just gonna put the author's name in there. Um, and then we're going to hit update. And then we're gonna go to reviews of last summer, 2019 edition. And we're just gonna say that this is, uh, this is an archive. And for the sake of example, I'm just going to use the word yellow jacket. It's a code name so that we can uh, be sure that our search is working um, because I'm pretty sure that nothing else on the site is going to have this word and we can't get confused um, with um, our search results. So let's go ahead and try to search for that. Let's go to the front end and try to search for yellow jacket and there's nothing. It cannot search that custom field. Even though the custom post type is searchable, the custom fields inside of the custom post type are not searchable. So um, there is a useful snippet of code um, by Mr. Adam, ba uh, I want to say Ballet is his last name or Bailey, um, but it's over here if you find uh, his website, adambailey.com, search WordPress by custom fields without a plugin. This is a, um, a useful snippet of code that you add to your functions file and it does some database magic to 
um, to, to enable you to search for um, the custom fields inside of custom posts and custom fields inside of regular uh, WordPress um, content types and taxonomies. So um, I have cut out the comments and all of this and put this code somewhere. So we're just going to add it real quick. Again, for the sake of time, just want to grab this and throw it into our functions file. Where, where, okay. So the the last bit here, this function CF search distinct prevents duplicates. duplicates. So um, you can pick and choose whether to include this part or not. I like to include it because there's really no harm in keeping it. Um, but these, these two functions here, the CF search join, the join function, and then the where, uh, CF search where, those are both uh, filters that are going to be required for this to work. So you can't just pick one or the other. They have to both be there. Um, so we're going to go into our functions file and we're just going to paste that um, at our comments like good boys. All right, we're in business. Let's go ahead and save this and test it and uh, cross our fingers on this working. Going back to the home page, and we're just going to go ahead and hit that search one more time and um, try yellow jacket. And you can see that it comes up. Um, okay, that's it for now. Um, my next my next section, um, I might just add this to the video um, or I might create a separate video. The next one is going to be how to search for custom fields in custom post types and custom fields inside of regular post types or page types in WordPress, um, but how to kind of pick and choose which ones you want to search for. So let's say, for example, that you do want to be able to search custom fields inside of your articles, but you don't want the custom fields inside of your books to be searchable. Um, so this, this method will allow you to search one and not the other and get a little bit more sophisticated with or, or have more control over which fields are searchable and what content types are searchable um, and do like uh, content type relationships and that sort of thing. Okay, thank you so much.